Hello everyone, welcome back to Transform with Tori. If you are new, this channel is all about personal development and blossoming into the person that you're meant to become. Today I have a book talk for y'all. It absolutely changed the way that I view my habits and my daily routines. And the book is The Compound Effect. It is by Darren Hardy, all about jumpstarting your income, your life, and your success. So without further ado, let's get started. This book really opened my eyes to viewing my routines and my daily habits into something that will either bring me up or bring me down. I didn't realize just how important they were before reading this book. What the compound effect is, is if you do something for long enough, even if it serves you or doesn't serve you, then it'll take on this momentum phase. It'll just multiply either up or down. Once you have that knowledge, you do what you want to do with it, but you have the choice to push yourself in a positive direction or a negative direction. So whenever I read this book, Darren told you is to start to become aware of the decisions that you're making. Most of the time we go about our days and we don't even realize the habits and the choices that we make because they've become something that you do every day that you don't even have to think about it. It's just in your unconscious mind and you're not really aware of what you're doing because you've done it so long that you don't have to put any energy into really thinking about it. The situations that come up in your life, they may be negative, they may be positive, you have no control over that, but what you do have control over is the decisions that you make and the habits that you allow yourself to take on. He mentioned that you can track everything from your day. I didn't really think that tracking my food habits was good for me because I do have some obsessive food thoughts. So depending on who you are as a person, you may think that tracking your food is a good thing, but for me, I don't think it would serve me at all, so I didn't do that. I did was just kind of track my behaviors. What was I doing when I first woke up in the morning? Beforehand, I would reach for my phone, grab it, check the time, scroll through social media to check up on my friends and to see what was going on in the world. Didn't really think that had a big impact at all. That's what I would do. I would check my phone and then I would start getting ready. I would just brush my teeth, get dressed, make my lunch, make my breakfast. And that was pretty much my morning routine. Before all of this, whenever I was reading the book two years ago, I was at school. So I would just go to my school day, come home, study a bit. And at night I would watch TV for two hours or so until I fell asleep and then do it all over again the next day. Depending on what your day looks like in between between your morning and your night routine, in between those sections of time, you can't really control. For example, if you go to school, you can't control what your teacher says to do. If she says to work on an assignment during your school day, then you have to do that. Or if you're at work, if they say, these are the tasks that you need to complete today, then obviously you need to do those. But what we're looking at here is the time frame that you can control. And that is in the morning and at the night. So in the morning time, when you first wake up, you have that maybe hour or two, if you wake up really early, to really do what serves you. Now there is some choices that you can make throughout the day that is in your hands, but to first start out, look at the morning and the night time. Going back to when I was in college when I first read this book, my morning routine was going to pick up my phone and scrolling through social media, checking the time. What I did, I made a list, kind of organized it by morning and night of the things that I thought didn't serve me and were not leading up to my true potential and my full potential. I became aware of them and then I decided to make a plan for myself. What was I going to do instead of those things? When I woke up, picking up my phone and checking social media. So instead of doing that, what can I do instead that serves me? Instead of looking at this like, oh my gosh, I'm getting rid of things 
in my life and this is gonna be really hard, look at it as a way that challenges you and is going to make you grow as a person. Now what my morning routine looks like, I told myself that in the morning, instead of picking up my phone, I wanted to start meditating, maybe a five minute meditation, and also move my body in the morning. So I started to do yoga. So I just started with those two things to get those two things done for myself. And also at night, I decided that I wanted to try to limit the amount of technology that I was viewing before going to bed because it disrupts my sleep cycle. So what I wanted to do was do things that didn't involve technology, either doing another meditation meditation or yoga, journaling, reading a book, doing something that doesn't involve staring at a screen. He did say in the book, it takes about 21 days to form a habit. And if you really want to ingrain it, then you need to make sure that you do it every day consistently for three months for it to really be almost an unconscious decision that you make. You don't have to think about it anymore. You just go ahead and do it. And now my morning routine, what it looks like now, I wake up, I go ahead and sit on this couch or sit on a yoga mat and do a 15 to 20 minute meditation every single day. And then right after that, I do some journaling. I write down three things that I'm grateful for, set an intention for my day, and all also set an affirmation and it's really weird because when you do set an intention it sets the tone for your day you end up asking the universe and the brain to move you in that direction of your intention whether that be staying positive or being kind it's a daily reminder for you of what you want to get out of your day after that I will do a 15 to 20 minute yoga session sometimes 10 minutes depending on how I'm feeling I have been doing those consistently consistently every single day. I have really seen the effects compared to just scrolling through social media every single day and allowing those images to be the first thing that my mind sees instead of really grounding myself in the morning, doing what serves me and what makes me feel good. I have seen a profound difference. It really has changed my mindset, it sets me out on a positive note before I even begin the to-do list of my day. Here is your homework if you have not read this book. Go ahead and track your habits that you do and you will surprise yourself with some of the things that you just don't realize because you haven't become aware of them. What are the habits that you do? What are the behaviors that you do for your day? Look at the ones that you want to change. Now, you don't have to get rid of everything if you don't want to. Start small, choose one habit that you want to change, and what can you do instead? I looked on Pinterest, I just looked at good habits. Some say that you can make your bed every morning, drink more water, eat without looking at a phone or TV to be more present. Give yourself at least one compliment. So if you're the person to look in the mirror and just constantly critique everything that you see instead of doing that add in some positivity to that every single time that you make a negative statement about yourself throw it back with a positive one let's see another one is you can do a mindset check-in every now and then it says to bring awareness to what's going on in your head this helps you come back to the moment and refocus limit social media time would be a good one as well also so that was just examples of good habits that you can add and there's so much more that you can look at on Pinterest but really it's gonna depend on what your values are and what you would Envision yourself to be 20 years down the line. I really ask yourself, is what you're doing now going to get you to where you need to be 20 years down the line? Be truthful with yourself because if you're not and you're just lying to yourself, then you're probably not going to be where you want to be 20 years down the line. Really be aware of the things that are not going to push you in the direction to where you want to go. Right now, to be honest with you, my morning routine is really awesome. I haven't done it lately. What I started doing was listening to a positive podcast, like a personal development podcast, as I'm making my lunch or making my breakfast. I haven't been doing that lately, and here's the thing, if you don't do it consistently, and you break that consistent chain, it's really hard to get yourself back on that wagon. So I'm being honest with you. I have had habits that I've had and 
they kind of went away. And then I stopped doing them for a day or two and that consistency, it wasn't there. So then the habit wasn't there. It's kind of almost like working a muscle. You have to continue to work it to make it bigger and stronger. So if you're going to continue working out that habit, making it stronger and stronger and making that connection in your brain and your body to do the thing you want to do and making the choices that you want to do, then you will see that momentum going and it'll just skyrocket your success, your relationships, your health, all of that. Now my nighttime routine, let's get into the nighttime routine. <laughs> to be honest with you, I, oh, it is super hard right now to maintain a nighttime routine. I still have kind of the same goals for myself of wanting to journal or read a book, relax myself, because with someone who has anxiety, the nighttime routine is probably the most important to really set myself up for success. For having a really good sleeping routine at night, technology does not serve me at night, but I just find myself wanting to watch movies or wanting to watch Netflix or scroll on my phone at night. I get a little stressed out just thinking about what I'm going to do for the next day. I just kind of have that desire to want to numb those feelings out. Once you are aware of the choices you are making, of your choice, then you make that decision. You make that decision to either keep it, throw it away, but make a choice. And then you have a behavior, an action. Once you have repeated that action over time, it becomes a habit. It will compound throughout all aspects of your life. For example, I'm aware that I'm scrolling through my social media and watching TV every night. My choice is to choose to turn on the TV and to allow my attention to be focused on the TV or allow my attention to be on to social media posts. Now my behavior or action, I'm just sitting on the couch and watching TV. My habit is if I keep allowing myself to watch TV at night, it becomes a repeated action, which then becomes a habit. Compounded over time, it's gonna be a lot harder to change that. It's gonna be ingrained and going to become an unconscious decision, which honestly, I think it already has. You have to do something else and it's gonna be really, really hard at first if this is something that you've been doing for a long time. But once you choose to make a different choice and you realize how much better it makes you feel and you keep doing it over time and it becomes a habit, then you're going to thank yourself in the long run because it was probably what you should have done years back or months back. Yeah. I hope that y'all learned something out of this video and inspired you to take action and to start taking the reins of your life and your habits and changing the ones that you don't like. So your homework for tonight, what I want you to do is start to become aware of the habits that you are doing every single day and look at the ones that you want to change. Start with one and choose something else in return that will serve you and push you in the directions of your desired future self. If what you're doing, if one strategy isn't working and you're seeing that you keep falling back to that old habit you gotta go back to the drawing board and see about a different strategy to use it's just gonna take some time to figure out what's really going to work and what's going to stick for you but I wish you luck if you're going to do that and I believe in you. Oh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I post videos every single Friday around 4.30 in the afternoon. I will see you in the next video. 